My name is Jørn V. Knudstorp. I'm the chief executive officer of the Lego Group. That means I'm overall tasked with looking after how the Lego Group is doing. One of the amazing things we work in the Lego Group is the number of stakeholders you actually get to meet. You meet the children who are sort of your end customer, if you like. You meet their parents, you meet their grandparents, you meet school teachers, you meet school kids, of course. You meet uh, some of the best retailers in the world who are extremely demanding, are very tough customers. You meet people from all cultures and walks of life because Lego is a product that's sold in every single country in the world and the idea is so universally appealing. For me, a strong culture, what a strong culture is about is that it's almost like I would call it an execution mechanism. So people know what to do without reading a little book or having rule books. It's just sort of, you have an intuitive sense of how to do things. But that doesn't mean that there's only one solution to the same problem. That would be so untrue to what the basic idea of Lego is, which is there's many solutions to the same problem. And you have to imagine your own solution. In a business like Lego, where it's literally just one product, uh, everybody works on the same mission. It's not like there are separate divisions of the company yet. When there are 10,000 employees, it's of course people work in different departments. So it's so crucial that we can work together to deliver that one experience. And I think one of the things we've learned is that collaboration is not something that's you know, nice. It's actually quite difficult. It's a very tough process because you have to give something, I have to accept something, and we have to find the compromise. But we don't need to strike the compromise that's good for you and I. We need to strike the compromise that's right for the customer. It's a very challenging process. I started writing a blog about five years ago, and the purpose of that is really to build a one-to-one -one relationship to thousands of employees. At least if they want to have a relationship to me, they can have it, because I get to tell stories about my own life and my points of view on various things. I can share those personal elements, and I get the feedback when I travel to places where I meet employees I don't see very often. I get a lot of feedback because I can see they've read the blog and they have a relationship to me, even though we've never met physically. So it's a fantastic tool. I think you should join us if you want to be at a place where we really want to develop the mastery you have at what you're already very good at. And we want to build further strength in what you do really well, because that's how you're very valuable as a team player with us. Because the variety of possible jobs within the Lego Group is very large, that people end up in roles they'd never imagined they would go into, because those possibilities exist as well. One day I went off to work and uh, my oldest son asked, so who are you going to spend time with today? I said, I'm going to spend time with Kel, who's our owner of the Lego group. And his immediate reaction was, so what are you going to build? So I think that was a great illustration that in their heads, it's still very much about playing and building. They remind us of that wonderful quote that we don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. <laughs>